So we're finally getting around to doing the awkward slopey bit of fencing um, next to the new gateway that we put in. Um, we've been putting it off for ages just because it is really awkward. Um, so we've tried to use the... Uh, there was already some existing wire there. So we've tried to use that and we've used a few rails rather than changing that post and strutting it properly. But hopefully it'll do the job. It's only really an emergency if something gets out. So hopefully it never gets tried, but it might do eventually. Um, so we've got that bit of wire there. We've run out of staples actually, because the rest of the staples are at Summer Hill. That's why it looks pretty floppy. So we would eventually put a few more in. Um, well, I'm not suggesting we do it like this really by choice, but it's sort of using what we've got here. Um, so we've got a couple of posts in and then we're putting rails down here because we're never going to really get the wire to do that sort of angle neatly um, because of the drop off so we're, we've just got some rocks down here and Sid's just putting some soil over the rocks at the moment underneath the bottom rail to kind of build the bank into the fence if that makes sense. So we've kind of border terrier proofed the first bit um, problem is we've had to put the because of the slope the well the creosote dark post there had to go in quite a long way to get it in sturdy enough because of the slope which is all right on the on the left side but that's made it too short up here so we tried screwing a old half round post to it but there's a bit of a gap at the bottom um, which is a slightly funny angle on the whole post it's going to really irritate me and it's also got a load of concrete on which is going to really irritate me so i think what we're going to have to do is take that off and instead of trying to hit one in right next to the other post which is bouncing on some rock i think we'll just try to screw a rail to it like a chunkyish rail but i've rounded a screw off so i can't do that now because i don't have a drill bit to get it out so we'll have to wait till tomorrow um, so now we are just going to um, replace this bailing twine with some train. Um, Um, so obviously this lead chain is better than some bailing twine and we just don't want the ball to get out and boom. <laughs> Okay, so just finishing off the fence um, by the gate, um, decided to live with it in the end, got persuaded out of redoing it all, um, which is probably reasonable. <coughs> okay, so I just railed the, this bit of fence here, as you can see I lived with the wonky post, um, which has made everything else really wonky, but it kind of, it'll do the job. Um, it certainly isn't pretty and I certainly wouldn't pay me to put it up. As you can probably tell the weather's pretty rough here so I'm not sure how much of this footage is actually going to be usable mainly because my glasses keep getting wet and I can't actually see so um, 
maybe a shorter vlog this week but we're doing our best and well I hope you like it Morning snack for some of the larger piglets now. But they seem to thoroughly enjoy their their snacks. So this is quite rotten. It's got like a weird rotted layer so this is gonna look messy and I probably need a knife have you got the knife did you give me the knife Sid did you go and find the knife because I can't really I don't want to do that on the front It's an old foot. It's a very splayed foot, isn't it? But it's got this weird, like, layer grown. And that's what's kind of... <coughs> Let's go in there and have a proper, a proper look. Too much as you can't walk. No. Blue spray. I'm gonna leave it like that and I'll, I'm gonna separate her off and put her somewhere else and then we'll. If you show the camera the bottle of what you're using as well. Very red in there. She could do her as well. Yes. Yeah. Get some head strap tomorrow or something. I don't want to cut. So it's off. No, so she can't see that. It's fucking hard as well. I don't want to cut the one above it. Spray it anyway. Got any more of this in the shed, Sid? Maybe. Um, yes, there is. That corner. That's right, I've got enough. Cutters. So they look the same, they're pulling off on the... It's just not got the best feet, basically. They're growing really strangely, like, the insides don't normally grow like that. So he's basically, I think his gait is a bit weird. But normally the outside edges tend to grow more than the inside edges, which is pretty weird. Visitor. 
Oh, hello you. <laughs> hello. Come over to see what's going on in here. Here we are at Summer Hill. As you can hear the dogs barking, James and Sid are off over here, as you can see. And we're checking this field is secure. And then we need to check that gate. And checking that all of the, the boundaries are secure, ready to bring the Welsh and the Shetland ewes down here in the near future. As you can see, there's the sea. I think that's Amroth over that way, if I'm not mistaken. This is part of the 19 acre site that we rent from the National Trust. And we farm in accordance with their high nature status initiative. I'll leave some links underneath in the description box if I can find anything to explain exactly what that is but that's basically the well the upshot of it is increasing habitats by you know looking after the hedges making sure that you don't use certain chemicals and work various things I'm sort of waffling a bit but I'll um, I'll leave some links I'm sure there's something on their website as to what we're supposed to do and it, it's quite strict but I I think it's a really good idea. You you can already see around here the, the amount of wildlife and various species in the hedges. It's it's really quite an interesting initiative. Hello. What do you need? High bolts. Spanner. Cool. String. Okay. Thank you for watching this week's vlog i hope you enjoyed it although it was a bit wet and windy here are the links to subscribe and to previous videos see you next week